Hey guys, what's up? This is Sage Ross. Um, today we're working on a little bit more on the mask. Um, it's been kind of a work in progress. And as you guys can see, I've already got a little bit of the uh, epoxy sculpt around the eyes. I'm working on getting them done. Then I'm going to sand it, get it done. I don't know if I'm going to fur it, or if I'm going to scale it, if I'm going to texture it. I haven't decided yet. Um, but as you can see, I'm starting on the horns because if you look at where they mount, um, particularly like right in this area right here, um, you can see that there's a big gap right there. And then, you know, even up here, there's a few big gaps and a few big places where it just doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually using some uh, modeling epoxy. And I'm actually trying to get this in and around the horns and to get these areas built up and transitioned down. So what I'm going to do is lower this down a little bit so you can watch as I do this. And like I said, there's no real particular way I'm doing this. So I'm just kind of taking watch of the stuff and just packing it in there. What I'm trying to do is, well, what I'm trying to do is work it down to where it's smooth. And I've got like clay tools and uh, different little things like a little sponge like this. And it's a little damp so it can just work the material. And then I'm just working on smoothing it down, transitioning it, and getting it to match in with the original blank. And it's just a slow blowing process. It's just constantly messing with it and getting it as close as I can. Now I'm by no means an expert at this. This is just, you know, learning as I go. And at the same time, I'm just jamming a little bit of stuff from SoundCloud just to, to fill with silence and kill time. And if I don't talk a lot, it's just because I get focused on what I'm working on and I don't really want to, you know, distract myself by getting on a tangent or 
anything like that. Basically, what I'm working on right now is it, you can't really see it, but there's um, there's hot glue that's right in here, and I'm trying to get some of that loose glue out and clean it up a little bit to make the uh, epoxy want to stick. Well, probably what I'll end up doing is building this whole thing out so that there's a nice big transition right here so there'll be a big blob of the stuff and it'll transition down into this so i'll eventually cover this whole area up with epoxy and then just slowly transition it down and mold it down into this piece and then i won't really have to worry about so much with the uh hot glue But what I'm doing right now is roughing this up a little bit to give the sculpty something to grab onto. sad part is whatever I decide to do with this thing I've got to have it done um, here in a couple of days or a couple of weeks because it's going to Momocon so I gotta have it ready to go so um, I gotta figure out something to cover up the hinges and cover up all of this back area back here and I haven't even gotten that far yet I haven't even considered how to, to close the back of this thing in and protect the head I'm thinking that um, whatever I do is going to have to either attach internally in here or it's going to have to attach on the outside and I'm going to have to make something that goes over the horns and then hooks in right here and then goes over the back but I don't know yet What's up, SoundCloud? This is Kaylani. From first play to first platinum, find your fans first on SoundCloud.
What are you waiting for? Start uploading today. Thus far, that's what I've got. Well, it looks pretty good. I mean, a little sanding and some texture and it'll probably be fine. Uh, so I'll probably run with that. And then, like I said, I can sand it and get rid of any rough spots. So now we just have to do the other side, which is pretty bad it's about the same I've got a big gap around the back that I've got to fill in and then all of this stuff um, and as you can see um, originally and I'll show you some of this originally these hinges came riveted and the rivets some of the rivets had pulled out through the resin and a couple of rivets were bad um, Otherwise it was good, it's just my OCD, I had to do something about it. So what I actually ended up doing was, you know, I work with aviation, so we've got these little, um, I don't know if you can see it over here real well, but we've got these little flat countersunk screws, and we've got matching lock washers or lock nuts for them. So I got a series of these screws and put them in and even up here I did the same thing even though it's hidden by the hinges now but I completely redid this so yeah it, it sticks this out a little bit more but I'm thinking that I can cover this up with something I haven't decided what yet um, eventually I'll probably also do the epoxy sculpt on the jaw set to get the lips done right and to close that gap up a little bit um, make this look a little more natural um, so otherwise I mean it's just a little cleanup stuff if I don't have it completely done by the time I go to Momocon um, I can cover this up with something quick I can just you know put a quick thing on that'll attach like right in in front of these hinges and that'll just you know cover the back of my head basically um, and cover this up so I'll cross that bridge when I get there and I'll figure out what I want to do. Um, like I said, my other thought for covering this up was using a three weapons mask. I have to find one and uh, modify it to work. And basically they're for fencing and stuff like that. And they've got a thing that literally just comes off the back of here that's got a piece of uh, aluminum in it so that you can bend it and flex it to match the back of your head and literally you just put it on and the, the tension of that holds it onto the back of your head or holds your mask on and it's got little velcro straps that helps push it forward um, they're actually really nice um, if I can get one they come with a mesh grill on the front of them and I can probably take that mesh grill off cut it and modify it a little bit and then maybe just butt it right up against this and just make it transition right into that so that it works or I can clean up the thing take some fabric and glue a little go in here you know cut this back a little bit and then glue a little piece of fabric in right in here and then glue a little piece of fabric onto the inside of three weapons mask so there'll be a little piece of spandex fabric right here for expansion and then I can just pull it on and it'll be like a clamshell and then I can cover these up using that three weapons mask because it should be able to come up to here so um, it's just a continuing struggle it's still I'm having a few fitment issues I've got to play with the padding I might have to cut that out a little bit I may have to um, clean up the uh, bottom jaw set mount in here a little bit more to make it fit a little better but um, overall, you know, like I said, you guys have seen me do this, so now you know how that's done, and of course, you know, you've seen the eyes. Um, I did have, this stuff does shrink, so I had a little bit of separation on this eye right up here, and I just packed some in the corner, and I'm going to let that dry. Um, if you check this eye out, you can see, like, right up here, you can see a little bit of the separation from where it's, where the uh, epoxy dries, and it pulls away from everything, so... 
Um, not too worried about that. I can always just take a little bit of extra um, Sculpty and just pack it in around that and then just clean it off. And I still have to go in like right in here and I've got to sand all that out and get it evened up and transitioned. But overall, I mean, it looks good. It's going to look good once I get this transitioned in and get it sanded and painted. Um, so yeah, I think I, I was debating on if I was going to do um, a magnetic mount where these could pop off, you know, using rare earth magnets and just make these where these could come off and it would just be the skull or if I was going to permanent mount them, but I just decided last minute to uh, perma mount them and leave them that way. Um, like I said, it's my first mask. I'm happy with how it's turned out thus far. I'm having fun learning. Um, it's, you know, it's actually feeding my need to tinker, so that's why I'm enjoying this so much. Um, so it's, you know, it's going to take a little bit more work, but she should be good to go. And I'm going to try to get this finished today, let it cure, see if, how far it separates and any grooves i got to pack, fix this piece here, and then she'll either be ready for texturing or ready for whatever I want to do with it. Um, that I haven't decided yet. Um, but I did come up with a name. And I know I'm probably going to get flack for it. I don't care. Um, People can share names. I've got a character named Stitches, and I've seen tons of Stitches. Um, I'm not too worried about the name, honestly. Um, basically, this is going to end up being, probably due to the eye color you can see, um, it's going to be purple. And my thing is, I'm big on uh, the grape Nos. So what I'm thinking is, this is going to be a no this is going to be Nos Dragon kind of a nod towards um, Nos Hyena. Uh, I tried talking to him to get his thoughts on it, but I haven't heard back from him yet. So I'm just gonna run with it. Everybody's told me just run with it. Um, so this is officially gonna be Nox, or Nos Dragon. And um, that's what I'm running with. Um, so she, well, I keep wanting to say she, but it, they finally have a name. Gender is still up in the air. Um, if it leans towards a feminine look, then yeah, I guess I'll have to call it a she, which is going to be kind of funny, but um, I'm not opposed to the idea. It's just going to take a lot of, of work and a lot of practice to get into the character. Um, but hopefully um, by the end of the week, by next weekend, I can do a first suit Friday. You guys will get to see all the gear. I've got some tag gear coming for this character. Um, especially for convention because I've got convention here in about two weeks um, since I'm talking to you guys on pulls up but yeah I've got uh, security at a convention at MomoCon here in about two weeks so I'm going to be wearing this um, I'll be wearing a bunch of tag gear so hopefully uh, this Friday I'll do a video of me wearing this um, the uh, baklava and I'll show you guys this because I don't think you guys got to see it yet. Stay. All right. Um, this is what I picked up for wearing under the mask because before I had a problem where you could see my face through the mouth. And so I picked this up. And what it is, it's just a two hole, two eye hole baklava. And I just pulled it on, put the mask on, and then you can't see my face. So this is this was like six bucks off Amazon. So it's not that bad. Um, wasn't that bad of a purchase. And I'm actually glad I got it because I looked everywhere locally and could not find these. Um, so this was something really good to find. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean. Um, I get this ready to go, I'll let you guys, I'll throw on all the tag gear, let you guys see it. Um, I think you guys will like it. And what I'm using as far as the epoxy sculpt is I know that, uh, I know that Maniyasha, who does uh, all the Dream Vision Creations uh, videos, uses uh, epoxy sculpt. 
and it's a two-part epoxy that you can mix up and use it like modeling clay. What I'm using is this. Um, it's probably backwards in that, but it's um, it's creative paper clay. And it's a big block of it. It's air dry. You can sand it. You can treat it just like anything you want to do. Um, I think it was like 11 bucks for this big thing. This thing's gonna last me forever. I probably will never use all of this. Um, but you do have to keep it in a plastic bag, keep it airtight because it will dry out on you. And then I picked up this really awesome uh, tool set for working it. So, um, it's got several different things. And then like I said, I picked up a couple of these little guys for using or for wetting and, and smoothing the transitions out real nice. crack right there is going to bug me until I paint it or something. Um, but yeah, you know, and I've got tons and tons of tools, so um, I'm always up for having little kits like this because you never know when you're going to need something out of something like this and it's going to come in handy. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm going to keep working on this. Hopefully, like I said, you guys will get to see it. Friday complete with all the gear and everything and it should look cool um, but till then I guess I'll see you guys later I'm gonna get in and do some gaming and um, try to relax and enjoy my afternoon off but I'll catch you guys later